Welcome back to Podocyte Talk. In this episode, we're diving into three more studies that could reshape approaches in nephrology. We'll cover the Fine Arts HF trial on the effects of finerenone in heart failure patients, the outcomes of different glucose-lowering therapies in type 2 diabetes, and the safety of kidney transplantation from donors with HIV. Let's explore what these studies mean for clinical practice and patient care. Finerenun and Kidney Outcomes in Patients with Heart Failure, the Fine Arts HF Trial. Finerenone is known for its kidney protective effects in CKD patients with type 2 diabetes, but its effects on patients with heart failure HF, with or without diabetes and CKD, are less clear. The Fine Arts HF Trial investigated finerenone versus placebo in 6,001 participants with heart failure and mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction, assessing its impact on kidney outcomes like EGFR decline and kidney failure. The results showed that, over a 2.6-year median follow-up, finerenone did not significantly reduce the composite kidney outcome of decline 50% EGFR decline or kidney failure compared to placebo. An initial decline in EGFR was observed in the first three months, but this stabilized over time. Notably, finerenone reduced albuminuria by 30% over six months, an effect that persisted throughout the study. Additionally, it reduced the risk of new-onset micro- and macroalbuminuria. With that covered, let's now turn our attention to another essential area in kidney care, how different diabetes therapies impact kidney outcomes, especially in patients with moderate cardiovascular risk. Kidney outcomes with GLP-1-RAs, SGLT2 inhibitors, DPP-4 inhibitors, and sulfonylureas in type 2 diabetes. Chronic kidney disease is a common complication in diabetes. This retrospective study used data from the OptumLab's data warehouse to compare the effects of GLP-1 receptor agonists, SGLT2 inhibitors, DPP-4 inhibitors, and sulfonylureas on kidney outcomes in 364,714 adults with type 2 diabetes, T2D, and moderate cardiovascular risk. The primary outcome was a composite of new CKD stages 3 to 5, kidney failure, or need for kidney replacement therapy, KRT. The results showed that SGLT2 inhibitors and GLP-1 receptor agonists were superior to DPP-4 inhibitors and sulfonylureas in reducing the risk of kidney complications. SGLT2 inhibitors were associated with the greatest reduction in risk, showing improved outcomes when compared to both GLP-1 receptor agonists and other therapies. This study supports the early use of SGLT2 inhibitors and GLP-1 receptor agonists to better protect kidney function in patients with type 2 diabetes and moderate cardiovascular risk. Finally, let's shift to the realm of kidney transplantation, focusing on the unique considerations and outcomes of transplanting kidneys from HIV-positive donors. Safety of kidney transplantation from donors with HIV this study assessed the safety of kidney transplantation from donors with HIV to recipients with HIV. Conducted across 26 U.S. centers, the study compared outcomes between 99 recipients of kidneys from donors with HIV and 99 recipients from donors without HIV. The primary outcome was a composite of safety events, including death, graft loss, serious adverse events, and HIV-related complications. The results showed that the risk of safety events was non-inferior between recipients of kidneys from donors with and without HIV, with similar survival rates at one year, 94% versus 95%, and three years, 85% versus 87%. The study noted a higher incidence of HIV breakthrough infection in those receiving kidneys from donors with HIV, but found no persistent failures of HIV treatment. These findings suggest that transplantation from HIV-positive donors can be a safe option for recipients with HIV. Join us on Podocyte Talk as we continue to bring you the latest insights into kidney disease research and treatment. Check the description for links to the studies discussed in this episode, and stay tuned for more insights into kidney disease research and clinical innovations. Tune in now to stay informed.